Oh. Why in God's green earth are you so late? I just, I just have to make sure no one was following me. Why would you care about being followed? You clearly aren't interested in keeping our problematic past hidden. Is this because the photos between me and man got leaked? We agreed that those photos would never see the light of day. How could you just expose us like that? What do you mean? They're the ones who found out about it. I just figured that there was no reason trying to deny it, so I just gave them the full story. Look, I get you're upset, but it's in the world now, and there's nothing we can do about it. So can we please just forget about it and move on? Sit down. Thank you. Alright ladies and gentlemen, today's video is going to be a little bit different because I need to use the little bit of battery left on my camera to explain to you the current situation that your boy finds himself in. It's recently been brought to my attention by a little birdie that I am currently on the watch list for the CDA. Yes, that's right. The CDA. Those yellow blokes from Monsters Inc. Why, you may ask? Well, that is as much of a mystery to me as it is to you. Although I can take an educated guess given the enemies that I've made across the history of this channel. Back in January when I made the Pingu's Dad video, I did a little bit of digging into the guy's past and Let's just say, a lot of it was mighty incriminating. But one particular piece, which I unfortunately failed to include in the original video, is that he has a strange history with the CDA. For those of you unaware, the CDA stands for the Child Detection Agency, which, unsurprisingly, Pingu's dad has had quite a number of run-ins with. This is fucked. This is not right. This is not cool. This is fucking bullshit. This is fucking. There was actually a situation back in 2002 or 3, I believe, where Pingu actually ran away from home. Apparently, before that, Pingu had been going on and on about how it was his dream to go to Monsters Incorporated and become a scarer, which. Not sure how that would work since he's a penguin, but follow your dreams, I guess. And I guess when Pingu ran away, his parents just naturally assumed he'd run away to Monsters Incorporated. So they called up the CDA and actually had them swap the entire building. Don't believe me? Well, they actually released the security footage a couple weeks ago after it was redacted for years. So I guess I'm allowed to show it to you. So here it is. FBI, open up! <laughs> Justice for George Sanderson. So yeah, based on previous events, that's how I'm assuming the CDA are coming after me. Simply, Pingu's dad was not happy with what I said about him in the video, and he just happened to have contacts in the CDA, so he called them up and was like... <laughs> anyway, the reason I'm making this video is, quite frankly, I don't know what the CDA are going to do, I need help. But if there's anything you guys can do to help, it's leaving a like on this video, subscribing to my channel, leaving a bunch of nice comments so I feel motivated, and sharing them with your mates and telling them all to do the same thing. Tell your mates! Anyway, that's it for this video. Sorry it's short, but that probably means it's going to come out quicker. I'm Mono Brown Man, and I'm, I hope I've patched things up with this guy now. Are you good with me? The capita burrow he could have fucked son of the cuser kin on a fucking motto wank tape nasa. I'm taking that as a somewhat yes. So, cheers, brother. Let's um, let's go make a YouTube loop.